Hello and welcome to my channel, It's a Tailored Life. My name is Taylor and today's video is packed full of cleaning motivation. I am cleaning up some really disgusting messes and some everyday messes, just getting the house prepped and ready for the upcoming week. So first we are getting started with this mess in the kitchen. This is just a regular everyday mess that I'm going to go ahead, get these dishes put away, cleaned up, and get everything ready for the upcoming week. Just give me one more. You leave me hanging, begging for more. Think that I'm addicted to this, can't resist to be a little risky and go for it because I want you close. I'm so exposed when you're keeping me wondering. You know I do anything to be in your arms again. So give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more talking to you. Here we go again, staying up all night to see if you've been texting me. Where do we go from here? I want to go all in. So give me a sign. I just want to let you know I could go for this. No more tricks. We could take things slow. Say you think about it too When the lights go out And there's no doubt That I should be with That I should be We've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going No control You push me then you pull me back in mm -mm -mm. We've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going No control You push me then you pull me back in So give me a sign, give me a sign, baby just give me a sign. So now that we've got the counters cleaned off and the dishes going in the dishwasher, I decided I wanted to go ahead and give the oven a really good deep clean. I don't clean my oven very often. I would say about every three months, I try to give it a good deep clean. It is a self-cleaning oven, but this is gonna be my first time actually trying to scrub the oven myself. I usually would just let it do the self-cleaning on it, but it wasn't, when it was doing self-cleaning, I just felt like it wasn't, giving it a really deep clean like I would like it like it didn't look shiny and new so I decided to go ahead and pull everything out and give it a really good scrub now I did not use the regular oven cleaner because when reading the directions for the oven it said not to ever use that because it could damage the oven if there was any chemicals left behind and I did not want to do that because I don't want to have to replace my oven so I decided to just use some Dawn power spray and give it a good scrub with the scrub daddy I didn't feel like I was making much progress like some stuff was coming off but there were some stains that were pretty stuck on so I decided after I gave it a scrub with the scrub daddy and the Dawn power spray to go ahead and set it for the self clean to let it try and clean itself after I scrub some of this stuff off. So right now I'm just trying to wipe up most of the Dawn Power Spray, trying to get it all out of the oven before I set it on the self-cleaning mode just to make sure that there aren't any chemicals lingering behind because I'm just so scared of damaging the oven. Still it feels like a 
So now that I've set the oven to do its self cleaning, it does require that you have it in a well open space. So I opened up the sliding glass door and I didn't wanna just hang out in the kitchen because the smell can get pretty strong. So I decided to go ahead and move into our family room and dining room area to start tackling the mess out there and getting this area ready for the upcoming week. My family spends a lot of time here. So a lot of mess happens here. So anything that I can do to try and prevent the mess throughout the week, I like to try and do that and just getting everything out of the way everything put away that can be put away So it is now the next day and this is after the oven has done its self cleaning. And again, I just was not very happy with the results. It didn't look that great to me. It looked kind of the way it did the day before when I did the Dawn Power Spray. And so I went online looking for other things that I could use in place of the Easy Off Oven Cleaner that I would normally use. And this method degreaser came up and so I was like, you know what, I'll give it a try. So the instruction said to let it sit for three minutes before scrubbing. So while that was sitting, I decided to go ahead and scrub the oven racks just to get those clean. I was not having such a hard time with getting these clean. The Dawn Power Spray did pretty good getting a lot of the stains off. They look pretty good when I was done. It is now about five minutes later and you guys, I was so impressed at this method cleaner. It took a little bit of elbow grease to get some of the harder stains up, but as I was wiping, it was just coming off. Like I wish I would have known about this sooner because my oven looks so much better just within minutes. I did scrub it for a little while, just there were a few spots that did not come up, which I'm okay with. It doesn't have to look absolutely perfect, but it definitely looked so much cleaner when I was done. I was so happy with the results. So what I did to try and make sure that my oven was fine after, because like I said, I was very afraid of ruining the oven because the instructions just insist over and over again not to use any oven cleaners. So what I did was I took a um, wet rag with water and I brought a bucket of water with me and I just tried to wipe everything out. And what I would do is as I was wiping, I kept dipping it into this clear bucket of water because I wanted to see when the water got dirty because then I would dump it, clean off my rag and start over again just to make sure that by the time I'm done wiping everything out, the water is still coming clean because there's no chemicals or anything left behind in the oven. And here is the finished product. I am loving the results. It looks so much better. I'm so happy. But let me know in the comments, how often do you all clean your oven? I just wanna know, like, am I not cleaning mine often enough? I'm not sure. So let me know in the comments. And now we're gonna go ahead and go back to getting the kitchen all together, just from any mess from the day before that I didn't get to finish cleaning up.
Everybody's been saying that you're up to no good. Everyone has been telling me that you got me hooked. You're playing it big time. You're feeding me lies. Everyone has been bugging me to sever the ties. But I would never, ever, ever would have believed them. No reason. Sometimes the truth is hard to see. But now the never, ever, ever seem to be over. I saw her. So I'm happy I got freed. Lucky, lucky, lucky me. Uh -oh -oh. Lucky, lucky, lucky me. I've won, got it done. Lucky, lucky, lucky me. Uh -oh. Lucky, lucky, lucky. I won't let the door hit when I leave. Shouldn't know by your rap sheet that you weren't nice. Now that the kitchen is all clean and my oven is looking all brand new on the inside, which I'm so happy about, we are going to go ahead and move into the family room and the dining room area to just go ahead and finish cleaning up that mess that I didn't get a chance to finish cleaning the day before. So I'm happy I got freed. Lucky, lucky, lucky me. Uh -oh. Lucky, lucky, lucky me. So if you're new here, I would like to just take a second to introduce myself. Um, I know we're like halfway through the video. It's really late for an introduction. But my name is Taylor. I am a wife and a stay-at-home mom. I live in the South Florida area. And I love making like cleaning content videos and homemaking videos, decorating. I love to decorate for all the seasons and holidays. But I mostly love making cleaning content because my house is always a mess. I have two boys, a seven-year-old named Jackson and a two-year-old named Lincoln. So there is plenty of mess in my house. So I love being able to come on YouTube and just share a lot of the work that I do around the house as a mom and connect with other women who are doing like the same thing. And also the men too, because I know there are men out here too in this community. So if you're new, please let me know in the comments. I would love to meet you and just chat with you. Let me know where you are from. If you are not new and you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate it. And if you um, have not done so already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying it. Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes. We were conversing into the night sky. When you took my hand said, let's leave now. Don't wanna be shy. I will let my guard down. Don't wanna be shy. I will let my guard down. I wanna love out loud. Talk a little deeper, kiss a little harder. I wanna love out loud. Talk a little deeper. Talked about everything that was on our mind. Talking to you gave me butterflies. Then you took my hand, said, Let's leave now. Don't wanna be shy. I will let my guard down. Don't wanna be shy. So while I'm folding laundry, I usually like to catch up on YouTube or watch some of my favorite TV shows. Let me know what you guys do while you're folding laundry. It makes laundry not feel like such a task to me. It kind of feels like a break in my day where I can just have a moment to myself. But also let me know who are some of your favorite YouTubers to watch. I wanna let you guys know a couple of mine. Right now I am loving Brie Davis. 
her channel is really good she has two girls and like her house just looks super relatable really fun and then also I'm loving it's me Mona lifestyle I have done a collaboration with her before but I just love her grocery hauls and her vlogs she has the cutest dog if you are a dog lover please definitely check her channel out she has really cute kids but I love her dog Toby so much so make sure you check out both of their channels and also I just want to say thank you and welcome to everyone who came over from T's channel from when she gave my page a shout out I really appreciate it so much just as a small youtuber that was really heartwarming for me and I'm so happy to have you guys following me on this journey like thank you guys so much for coming over and subscribing to my channel I miss you, miss you Take you off, I came me way too strong Cannot keep it low-key Got me drugged, your pheromones hit the roof Auto, your taste It's really a bad reception out there Where are you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? I've lost you Off my radar now I've lost you Telling you that I need you But you're off my radar now Found myself in between the lines Underneath your bed sheets It started fun But now I'm into deep into this flow A zero sum game that I will lose There's no sipping past it Every time you walk away from me, I want you. How could I want you more? Oh, when did I lose my perspective? Oh, God, have I lost it? But my cravings for you so shameless. Can't get enough. I've lost you. But I need you. And you're off my radar now. I've lost you. I need you, but you're off my radar now I'm like an outcast from pillar to post There's no denial, I'm chasing ghosts I'm like an outcast from pillar to post Hitting you up, but I'm stuck on hold It's really a bad reception out there Where are you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? Yeah, I love you So some of the clothes that you may be noticing I'm tossing off to the side. Those are my son's school uniforms. I don't fold those. I usually every Sunday or not even every sun Sunday, sometimes every other Sunday, I will iron and hang all of his school uniforms it just makes everything so much easier for me in the mornings especially because he wears uniforms and his pants either have to be blue or khaki and he can only wear a certain amount of colored shirts so getting dressed in the morning for him is just a breeze because literally all we do pick a pair of shorts grab a shirt and we're on the move it's just so much easier for me to do it that way so I like to kind of iron his uniforms in bulk but but this week I was kind of undecided about how many um, uniforms I should iron because I have quite a few because we have some from the previous year and this year and usually I can iron two to three weeks worth of uniforms and just hang all of those up but we are in the last few weeks of school here in Florida summer break is coming up 
So I'm super excited about that. But every year at the end of the school year, I like to go through his uniforms and anything that I can donate or that I need to get rid of, I go ahead and get rid of those. So I was doing the math actually in my head, <laughs> trying to decide how many uniforms do I actually need to iron and have hanging in his closet for the next few weeks. I don't wanna, you know, waste my time ironing if I don't have to. So that's what I was thinking about when I was tossing those clothes to the side. But speaking of summer, please let me know what you guys are doing this summer. Are you guys relaxing? Are you going on any family vacations? What do you have planned for the summer? So this week I also wanted to work on getting this bench clean. My boys have made quite a few messes on here. So I wanted to take my time and actually scrub it and try and get some of these stains out. I have the Bissell, um, it's like a wet vac that I use to clean spots on the couch. So I thought I would give this a try first on this bench. Unfortunately, when I started working with it, the battery was about to die and I could not find my charger. I was so stressed and I was like, oh no, what am I gonna do? Because I had sprayed the chemical spray on it already and I didn't want it to just sit and make the bench even nastier. But God heard my prayers because while I was scrubbing, I took a break for a second and went and looked for it and I actually found the charger. So I was able to charge it after I let this kind of sit for a little while and come back and actually like suck everything up. Now, unfortunately, it did take some time for this to dry, to dry completely. So I don't have the finished result in this video because I had to sit it outside and let it dry. But you can kind of see before the video is done, you will actually see what it looks like and how it looks so much cleaner already. But wait until you guys see how nasty this was once I start sucking everything back out. Take you anywhere you want As long as we're together Everything we'll do You got me going on So one of the reasons I love my steam mop is for days like today where both of the boys are home and hanging around the house while I'm trying to get the floor clean. Fortunately, because I'm using the steam mop, it does dry the floors pretty quickly because neither one of them were giving me any alone time on this day. No matter what area of the house I was cleaning in, they both were coming in that space. 
So I definitely could not have pulled out my, you know, old trusty dusty mop and bucket <laughs> because it would just be a hot mess. So the steam mop definitely came in handy this day. To be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I won. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better. So lately I have been loving this Method Tub and Tile Cleaner. It's like a daily cleaner. I've been using it just about every day or every other day cleaning my boy's bathtub because I've talked about this before on my channel. I love to do like a deep clean once a week with like comment and everything and get in there and really scrub their tub. But I'm always so worried about anything being left behind after I clean the tub. So if I don't do a deep scrub every single week, I know that their tub is clean, which is fine with me. And I'm not like constantly worried about like, oh my goodness, did I rinse all of the comment out? Could there be anything in their bath water? Because they take a lot of sit down baths throughout the week. So I'm always just worried about the tub being extra clean and nothing left behind. So this has definitely been giving me some peace of mind. And now we are all done in the bathroom. The house is ready for a new week. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.